Well, good morning. It's Thursday, the 9th of April. We're nearly at Easter, aren't we? Uh, today and tomorrow, we'll have stories. They're going to be a bit sadder stories because the first bit of the Easter story is a bit sad, isn't it? As we remember Jesus' death on the cross. But it will get happy again on Sunday. Uh, don't forget that on Friday, that's tomorrow, we'll have a live session at 11 o'clock. Uh, mums and dads and carers, if you want your kids to join in, we must have the consent form for them to participate in a live streaming session. Don't forget that. But if you can make it 11 o'clock tomorrow, we'd love to see you. Today, we're going to start with a song. So stretch, get some space and get ready to dance.
Well, today it's the story of Peter. Peter was one of Jesus's disciples. And when the soldiers came to take Jesus away, Peter was scared. He wanted to see what happened, but he would only follow at a distance. Before that moment, when Jesus was arrested, Peter had gone everywhere with Jesus. He was one of Jesus's helpers and Jesus was his friend. I'll never leave you, Peter said to Jesus. But Jesus warned him, tonight, before the rooster crows, you'll tell people that you don't even know me three times. Well, after the soldiers took Jesus away, Peter was scared and he watched from a safe place. You were with Jesus, a girl said. I don't know what you're talking about, Peter said in reply. Then another man saw Peter. This man was with Jesus, he said. I was not, Peter said. I don't even know him. More people said, you are one of Jesus's followers. You talk exactly like him. I tell you, I don't even know him, said Peter. Then he heard the rooster crow. Peter remembered that Jesus had said, tonight, before the rooster crows, you will tell people that you don't even know me three times. Peter was sorry he hadn't told everybody that Jesus really was his friend. From that day on, Peter told everybody about Jesus. And you and I can tell people that Jesus is our friend too. You know, Jesus was arrested. And he was taken to the cross where he died for us, for our sins. We'll hear more about that tomorrow. But what's really important about this story of Peter is that Jesus died on the cross for people like Peter, who sometimes get afraid and who sometimes make terrible mistakes. People like Peter, people like me, people like you as well. There's a lovely verse in the Bible that Peter himself wrote when he got a bit older. Christ himself died for you, and that one death paid for your sins. He was not guilty, but he died for those who are guilty. He did this to bring all of you to God. Well, let's say a prayer again. You can read it on the screen with me, or you can just bow your head and I'll pray for you. But let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, I am a sinner just like Peter was. Please forgive my sins. Thank you that Jesus died for guilty people like me so that we might be forgiven. Help me to live for Jesus today and each day and to no longer live for myself. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, now it's time for Joel's joke of the day. Why did the student eat his homework? Because the teacher told him it was a piece of cake. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this morning. It's been lovely to have you with us. Don't forget, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, we're going to be live. Uh, you'll need the link on the email to join us. And please don't forget, we need the consent form parents if your kids are going to get involved. But if you can make it, I'll see you at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Bye for now.